How did you use technologies in the construction and research, planning and evaluation stages? Technology played a huge part in the process of making my music video and keeping track of the work I had completed that helped me along the way. The Apple Mac that I used throughout the production was a very important piece of technology because it had all the programs on it that I'd need. However, there would be a problem if the system shut down because then I wouldn't be able to access or edit any of my footage due to it being on only an Apple Mac and no other device. Before I began my research, I would need to make a blog. I needed to do this so that all my work would be kept in one place so that I, can't, I can get to it when I need it. But if Blogger shut down, then I would end up experiencing problems trying to access it because it's a website and not a program. However, I was able to access it through other platforms such as a mobile phone and PC. Another problem I experienced when using Blogger was remembering to keep my blog updated and ensuring that I updated blog posts once I'd done something significant with my work. When I started the research, I made a questionnaire on a website called SurveyMonkey. This website was very helpful in making an effective questionnaire because it allowed me to choose different types of answer formats. This helped me get quantitative and qualitative data from the answers I received, which would then go on to help me develop my ideas for my music video and, as I had opinions of others, to influence my own decisions. However, a downside of using this website and every other website that I used was the fact that if the internet went down, then I wouldn't be able to access it and this could have caused problems for people trying to fill it in. I used Group D a number of times to document my work. This website was useful because it allowed my PowerPoint presentations to be seen on Blogger. This made it easier for me to upload work and I thought I might have to do it again due to the different programs it was on. It also connected to Facebook which meant I could share my work with my friends and family and even other people that might want to see what I've done. This website was sometimes slow when it came to uploading my PowerPoint presentations and other Word documents. This became rather tedious, especially when I had a few things that I needed to upload through Scrib D. Another useful website that I used was YouTube. I used this website throughout the whole of my production in order to research other music videos from the same genre I was looking at to make my music video for. Looking at a lot of videos gave me a good idea of the codes and conventions that I would also need to include in my own music video to make it obvious what genre it was. The only bad thing about YouTube is that it is very easy to get distracted due to the vast amount of music videos that are featured on it. This wasn't very helpful due to the fact that it would prevent me from doing the work I needed to do. Safari was a very helpful search engine because it allowed me to access the internet without this. But without this, um, I wouldn't have been able to use Blogger, SurveyMonkey, Scribd, or YouTube. This made Safari a very useful resource, and without it, I wouldn't have been able to do the research as effectively. However, there is a possibility that the internet would have had problems at times, which would make it very difficult for me to access the websites I needed. When it came to filming, the camera I used was a Canon 600D, and this was a very important piece of technology due to it being the only thing we could film the music video with. This camera was a very useful piece of equipment because of how up-to-date it is in terms of the quality of the filming. The ISO level on the camera changes the exposure, which is good for filming, because when you're outside, you can reduce the amount of light that is let in in order to make the filming look more natural and organic. This was important when it came to filming my music video because we filmed everything outside and so the ISO level was frequently changed to let the correct amount of light in. The 18 to 55 mm lens allowed for enough zoom for the close-up shots that I wanted in my music video. The optical zoom made the quality of the shots clearer compared to a digital zoom, which would decrease the resolution of the image, making it look unprofessional. Final Cut Pro X was the program that I used to edit my footage and make my music video. This program was very useful in making my music video because it had so many different things that I could use to edit my footage together. There were lots of different options on Final Cut Pro X because that allowed me to cut and crop my footage in the exact place I wanted. The precision of cutting the footage was key when it came to putting it in the correct order and the way that I wanted it to look. Final Cut Pro X also allowed me to layer different bits of footage so that I didn't need to cut it. However, I experienced some problems with this program. On two separate occasions, the program crashed, which resulted in me having to turn the Apple Mac off. This would, this would often leave me worried about carrying on with this program because there was a possibility that I could end up losing all of my work if it crashed continuously. And due to Final Cut Pro X only being available on two Apple Macs, there was no other way of accessing it to carry on with the editing.